Have you ever failed in uptaking a new habit before? Maybe you told yourself that you want to uptake a health habit, productivity habit, or maybe some form of performance habit. But then after a couple weeks, what happens? You're back to where you were. There are these three things inside it. If you were to uptake it today, it will make a dramatic difference in terms of your success rate of uptaking new habits. And this is what will allow you to have a great 2019. So without further ado inside it, here are the three steps that you can take in order for you to set yourself up to win in 2019. The first is to clear your old anchors. Whenever I'm uptaking a new habit, I'm always looking to either redecorate the office or change the layout or change if, if it's, for example, a new app I want to utilize that's going to be tracking my progress. I want to change the wallpaper on my phone. I want to, I want to change the, even the way my phone looks. And the reason being is in your mind, there's something that's called an anchor. And what the anchor is, is creating familiar patterns of behavior based upon what you see. So imagine if you are constantly lazy at work, there's an anchor that happens when you step into the doorway of your workplace and it's a subconscious pattern. So the moment you walk in, you act like this. The moment you walk home, you feel like this. These are the anchors. It's just like how you've ever smelled a perfume before or maybe you smelt uh, food and it reminds you of childhood. These are the anchors. So if you wanna embed a new habit and maybe at home you tend to procrastinate, well, firstly, get rid of the old anchors and redecorate it or make it look different because it's signaling to your mind this is a new habit, it's a new chapter of your life. That's the first thing that I do suggest that you do. The second thing, once you've done that, is you want to make the things that you don't want to do extremely hard to achieve. We are habitual creatures and we are creatures that likes it easy. Our brain is a very efficient machine and it likes everything in straight line, A to B. So if you begin to add more steps that's required for you to uptake a, a ha bad habit, for example, it will most likely begin to become so lazy it doesn't want to do the bad habit. And then if you make the good habit extremely easy to achieve, then naturally your brain will be working in your favor to turn that into habit. Studies have shown, for example, if you put your trainers and gym outfit just by your bedside, the moment you wake up, you're more likely to just put it on and once you've done the micro step, you're more likely to take the second step of walking out the door. So you gotta make sure you set yourself up to win. I remember when I was a smoker, which was about 10 years ago, I used to smoke a lot. So I used to make everything really hard. When I, when I finally made the decision to quit, I would put my cigarette packet like literally in like one of the cupboards, I would just hide it and I have to like go look for it whenever I was craving for it. And I made it really easy for me to hit the gym. And that way naturally I turned it into a habit until the new neural connection was formed, which is called neuroplasticity, which is your mind's way, your brain's way of creating new neural connections. And that's done through habit formations done over and over again. So that's the second step that you should consider taking. The third thing that you should consider in doing is to design your environment that cultivates your success naturally. And the way you do this is to design your environment in a way even if you were the most laziest person on this planet, even if you are the most unproductive person on this planet, naturally you will still thrive. How do you do this? Change it up where it's so easy to do what you want to do. For example, in the studio, I've got all of the equipment already set up, ready to go. Because I know the fact that if I was to just put it away in a cupboard somewhere, I probably wouldn't be filming so regularly. I'm an introvert, I'm socially anxious, especially when I was growing up, right? That's my background. So the last thing I'm really thinking about is, oh, I wanna put myself out there online, right? I, I, you know, I'm fairly shy still to this day, believe it or not. And so I wanna make sure I'm, I've designed the environment where it cultivates a winner. That's what you gotta do. That's what allows you to have an incredible 2019. I hope you found today's video helpful inside it. If you have, let me know in the comments box below. What was the reminder or something you learned today that you found useful? I always love your feedbacks and I'll be sure to reply back to you if you were to post in the comments box below. So be sure to let me know. Like this video also if you like this video insider and share this video with a friend or loved one. Just think of one friend that would benefit from this. By paying it forwards, 
by giving life more of what you want, you'll notice how you begin to get more of that. Give people more value and you get more value. As simple as that. Have an incredible day. Have an incredible year inside it. I'm here to support you along that journey, of course, but I just want to remind you that you're born to do great. So play to win. Don't allow yourself to settle for mediocre. You're not born to lose. You're born to win, my friend. So own that from the heart and believe in you. As always, follow your heart and take action and go live the life you're truly born to live. Speak to you very soon inside it.